So, you probably woke up this morning asking yourself, Hey, I love Cado Boy. I'd love to make a, a mod based on it, but I can't do that anymore because Mango Key doesn't endorse modding of his games anymore. And even if I modded them, I'd have to re-upload the entire commercial game online, which is, you know, illegal. So how can I make mods of his game, uh, of his commercial games legally? Well, I got ju just the answer for you. Just follow these steps and you should be good to go. And this video is endorsed by Mango Key, so this is the proper way to do it. So first thing first, you're gonna get the Undertale mod tool, which some of you are already familiar with. You're gonna click on the GitHub link, the first one. You gotta head over to releases. Now do not take the version 0.5.0.0 because it's not gonna work with the new version of Cattle Boy. These are not built for this. You're gonna get the Bleeding Edge version which is updated very very frequently. But that should be fine as well. Uh, so you're gonna head down and get GUI Windows latest release is bundled true. It doesn't matter if you get a single file false or a single file true. I prefer the true one because the true one it has only the least amount of files while the other has a bunch of files. So I'm just gonna get the single file version for now. Once that's done downloading, you can open your document, your disk, put it anywhere that, uh, anywhere that you want. I'm just gonna put it there for simplicity. Extract all the content. I'm just gonna rename it Undertale Mod Tool. Then extract. So once that's done extracting, you can delete the zip file. And you can go in there. And you can see there's gonna be the executable. The moment you open the executable and disregard this, all the win files, they're going to be registered to open with this tool, which is exactly what we want for Cattle Boy. So the next thing we're going to go is go to the folder you extracted Cattle Boy, which is right there for this one. So you see the data file is now the icon of the Undertale mod tool. But before you open it, you're going to go ahead and create a copy of this called data original this is, this is the vanilla copy that you're basically gonna use whenever you want to make your own mods so now you can open data which is the one we're gonna you modify this um, error this warning message is just to tell you that the particle system is not supported which is not an issue because we're not using it in cattle boy so i'm not gonna really explain how this program works. you can figure it out on your own but I am going to show you at least how to replace a sprite so for instance we're gonna go in sprite and go on we're gonna replace the title of the the title sprite you know the this one so uh, uh, we're gonna replace it with this lovely image that I made I think it's pretty good. It's much superior to Cattle Boy. I don't care what you guys say. That is the truth. So you're going to click here because basically that is the index of the sprite. And then you're going to click on import. Now you're going to you want to make sure that your sprite is basically the same size as this. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit all over the place. So you're going to click on import. You're going to find your file replacement picture you click on open and there you go it has been replaced so now if i go back to cattle title it is now this so now we're going to save that file save go on your cattle boy folder replace the replace the, the this do you want to replace it yes so now it's going to save over it and now we can do a little test by just running the game and you will see that the title screen has changed
and that is how you make the mod but now that's not the end of it because obviously uh, to upload your mod that would mean imp importing the entire thing which is not what you want so that's where the the tool called lunar ips comes in you go over there it's normally used for rom hacking but it can be used uh, for pretty much anything so click this link go and download file now you just put the captcha i'm sure you can get it on their official website but for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna get it there so there's your file so just extract it whatever you want just like the last one I'm gonna put it there lunar IPS put it there close this over there I'm gonna get the 64-bit version but you I'm sure you can work with the 32-bit version as well run anyway uh, now we're going to create an IPS patch. Create IPS patch. I'm going to select all files, not most common file, just all files. I'm going to go in C. I'm going to go in game, well, the place you extract your Catboy game. Now you see at the top it says select original unmodified file to use, which is why we created data original. So you select this one. And then new modify file to use. So again, all files you select the data that you modify, and then it's gonna ask you to create your IPS file. So that's where you want to give the name you want. Uh, let's call it Content Aware Title Screen Test. So we click Save. The IPS patch was successfully created. So now you have it so now you can go back to your game you now have this file right there the content aware title screen test ips so to give you a little test so now i'm gonna put that over there i'm gonna get rid of the data then because now you're gonna see that it's the original thing So as you saw the title screen was what it was, but with this file, you're gonna go back to your Lunar, Lunar IPS. You open it. You press apply IPS patch. You go and select the IPS patch you have, this one right there. It's gonna have a heart symbol so that way when you, you'll, uh, you'll create or apply, you'll create your first patch you'll be able to just click on it and it's going to ask you which file you want to apply this on so we're going to take this one now it's going to tell the file to patch but we're just going to go on all files again so now we're going to go back to c games the measure of cattle boy the place you extract the game we're going to we're going to override the data right there the file was successfully patched so now your data file has been patched. So if you go back, you'll see that the size has increased. So now if you rerun the game, you'll see that title screen has changed. And there you go. That is how you make a legally modded version of Cattleboy. And basically the only m the mod that you'll upload will be just this file right there. And all the, all the user will have to do is just patch their data.win file. I also forgot to mention that the patch will only work with the version of the game that you, you created the patch with. So if you create it with, let's say, the version 2.0.0.1 of Cattleboy, uh, it's not going to work with the version uh, 2.0.0.2, for instance. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys need some question on how to do it and other stuff, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. Or if you're in the Discord server, just send me a message. DM me at Mr. Catalyzer. 
Uh, I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can just look it up. And yep, that's about it. Thank you for watching.